one of my favorite parts about math, the geometry of the algebra. That's one that marries together both the geometry and the algebra beautifully on the Cartesian plane. So a Cartesian plane represents two simultaneous variables, an x and a y, and so we often call these an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. The x will always be the first coordinate, and the y will always be the second. It's easily abstractable in the higher dimensions, by the way, so it's really, really beautiful. For our graphing, let's first use a black dot here for 1, 2, and in the Cartesian plane, we always start at the middle here called the origin, and uh, in class we discussed how you know Descartes came up with this, or one of the possible ideas of how he came up with this, but if we start at the origin here in the middle, then 1, 2 means 1 spot right, 2 spots upward. So we land right here, 1 spot right, 2 spots upward, putting us to the point 1, 2. Let's change to orange and try the point negative 2, comma, 3. So same philosophy, start at the origin. Negative 2, so it means move 2 spots left, and then move 3 spots upward. So this time, there's our dot. There's negative 2, 3. Pause for a second, try it on your own scratch paper. You might not have colored pencils with you, but... If you do, all the merrier. Blue will do negative 3, comma, negative 1. 1, 2, 3, to the left, because it's negative. And down 1, to put us about here. That's negative 3, comma, negative 1. Green would be 4, negative 2, so we're going to start at the origin. 4 means move 4, wow, that one's way out there, isn't it? 4, way out to the right, and then down 2 units, so maybe right about there would be a good place for 4, negative 2. And yellow, sorry if this one doesn't show up very well, it kind of half shows up on my screen here, but negative 1, comma, 0 means we move one to the left, but none up or down. So this actually does show up kind of nicely against the black background of the Cartesian coordinates, or a Cartesian grid. But that's negative one, zero. I like that one as an interesting example, because all of the other points are firmly in one of the four regions. We call this region up here, by the way, this is called region one, or quadrant one. This one's called region two, or quadrant two. This one's called region 3, or quadrant 3, and the one down here is called region 4. And this yellow point is in none of the actual quadrants. We say that it lies on the x-axis. It's formally on the x-axis. And so the last example would be 0, 2. And similarly, that one's not going to land in one of the quadrants either. It starts at the origin. No moving left or right, but going straight upwards to there. 0, 2, we would say lies on the y-axis. 